It just makes absolute sense for me to just keep the flame alive and burning in Amsterdam and to create a conference hackathon dedicated to privacy. Um, we have a situation right now in the Netherlands with uh, Alex of Tornado Cash being in jail, and I want to dedicate this event uh, in the spirit of the cypherpunk movement and make this a, a very special event for the Amsterdam community. As mentioned by Tim Baker on the first day, we need to now integrate these developers that have a difficulty uh, attending conferences. So I would like to extend the invitation to all core devs who have worked on the merge uh, to join me um, in Amsterdam, May 2023 for ETH Dam. Thank you. Um, buenos dias. Good morning, GM. <laughs> um, so Carol, representante da Ethereum Brasil, um, a Ethereum Brasil, ela começou na Ethereum Rio, foi um evento de muito sucesso no Rio de Janeiro. Na verdade, foi um marco muito importante para a comunidade brasileira. Ok, então ela é Carol. Even for me, it's hard because I speak Spanish, but we can understand a bit Portuguese. So she has been leading this first Ethereum Rio, and now they're thinking country-wise. E após a Ethereum Rio, percebemos que precisamos consolidar a comunidade Ethereum no Brasil. After it Rio, they want to grow the community in Brazil. Um, depois de Ethereum Rio, tivemos Ethereum São Paulo, que foi focado na construção da comunidade. After Rio, it came São Paulo, and is to keep building the community. Um, quais são os próximos passos do Ethereum Brasil? Iremos descentralizar, ter, temos uma estratégia de descentralização, no qual vamos criar collapse do Ethereum Brasil. Next step is to decentralize Ethereum Brazil and create collapse between different groups. Juntamente com estados, cidades e universidades. With different states, cities and universities. Exatamente, porque o Brasil é muito grande e precisamos construir é, dentro dos territórios. O Brasil é grande e eles precisam ir local para as comunidades grassroots. E temos como objetivo também fazer o ETITUR, que seria um dia educacional em alguns, na verdade, em seis estados no Brasil. They want to do a tour, so they're going to move to different six states, and they're going to be doing some, like, education days. Sim, e teremos até o Rio em 2023, que será focado não só na comunidade internacional, mas principalmente no Brasil. So they have Ethereum Rio in March. Uh, I think we want to go to Rio, one of the most beautiful cities. So thank you so much, Carol. Obrigada. Thanks. Next, we have East Denver. We are super excited to be here. DevCon's Con's been an amazing week, and it's just such a, a pleasure for us to see more community of communities because ETH Denver has been around since 2018. We're one of the longest running events in the space, and we are super excited to come back for another year. For those of you who joined us last year, uh, we, had a little, we had a couple of hiccups. It was a little bit trickier than normal. We grew from about 2,500 to about 12,000 this year, which was pretty crazy for us. <laughs> Thank you all for those who had to wait in line, who dealt with some of the restroom situations. But this year, we're super excited. We've got a new venue. We're all going to fit so under one big canvas. We're going to be uh, on site together. So again, like big activations. We we're going to have like 200 cots on site this year. So we're going to have more emphasis on scholarships. Obviously, the event is going to be free, as it always is, so people can just come, attend. The focus is on really contributing to Web3. We want to make sure that we're adding, that we're building. So we onboard newbies. It's free for everyone to attend. We feed everybody three meals a day. We've got bodegas like they have here and big activations. Again, please tell your friends who like, need scholarships and support. We're really excited to bring people together and focus on the biddle a -thon, which is going to be longer and more in person this year. But please come and join us, network, create. We're so excited to see you back again. Thank you so much, Shannon. Hey, everyone. Nice to see you all. Thank you. Uh, here to present ETH Gathering uh, Barcelona 2022. There we go. Okay, so it's actually next month. So it's very soon. Uh, we basically want to do something uh, specifically for Web3 teams. Uh, I think uh, I've been working at Maker for about a year, and the biggest benefit that we get from here is actually getting all together, meeting each other, and collaborating in person. So we kind of want to craft that experience. Uh, we have in two 
let's say, two sides of it. One is the gathering week. We invite everyone to come work from lovely Barcelona. Uh, and collaborate with other teams. And then in the conference weekend, we're gonna be doing panel discussions, workshops, and working sessions, uh, apart from having uh, some technical talks. Let me talk about working sessions. Uh, these are private meetings that you can have with people across the industry. You close the door and you really talk about what's really important. Um, so, because I think we all have the same issues with all trying to solve the same challenges. Um, yeah, we actually have the main themes, which are DeFi, security, DAOs, and data. Um, but we also have other subtopics, such as staking uh, and wallet UX and security. So uh, very welcome to everyone. Uh, and please join us. Uh, tickets are available. Also uh, still have some sponsorship spots and workshop spots that would love to have you. And then if anyone is here, the organizers, uh, if anyone has a tool to do show the scheduling on the website, please, please talk to me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tadeo. Next, we have Eve India. Hey, folks. Uh, I'm Divyanshu. Uh, I work at the Folio, uh, and I would, I would like to invite you all to ETH India, which is an event we are co-organizing with ETH Global. This is an event. It's going to be Asia's biggest Ethereum hackathon, and the focus is on Asia, not just India. Uh, and one core reason why we partner with ETH Global is a lot of ETH Global events are in the West. We would want that same experience in Asia. And this will be easier for a lot of folks to attend, right? So that's what we want to do. It's happening in December 2nd to 4th. Uh, and yeah, we're like kind of just going through the planning phase right now. I just wanted to share this artwork. We are really proud of it. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be big. Uh, it's the third iteration. We started in 2018. Uh, we did it in 2019. Then the pandemic happened which was a blessing in disguise because the ecosystem has really, really grown now. Uh, in 18 and 2019, we had around 200 folks show up, but now in our programs, we see thousands of folks applying and trying to get in. So this one, we are trying to invite as many people as we can. Uh, we have capacity for over 1,500 folks, so anyone who's looking to get in, uh, I'm happy to host you in India. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a 48 hours long hackathon, 36 hours long hackathon with workshops. So we are onboarding partners. If you're interested in being a partner, we are doing that. If you're interested in just hacking, just want to welcome you all. It's happening in Bangalore, December 2nd to 4th. Thank you. Now we have ETH Malaysia, Jason. Hi, everyone. My name is Jason. I'm from Malaysia. And next year, uh, eight months from now, we are organizing Malaysia's first Ethereum event. It's called ETH Malaysia. Right, so uh, ETH Malaysia is inspired actually by Shannon and Joshua Lapidus, who organized EVE Denver. So EVE Malaysia is going to be a fork of EVE Denver. It's going to consist of a hackathon, which we are in talks right now with Sozu House to run the hackathon. And uh, so that we can, they have very interesting ideas to basically increase okay, the quality of the submissions of the hackathon. Also, it will have a conference and you have fun activities as well. The location we, is going to be held at the Patronas Twin Towers. Uh, which we took six months to secure. It's going to be surrounded with a lot of greenery, and um, we want to really make a big statement okay, uh, to in, in Asia for this event. So um, the goal is to basically onboard new people okay, in Southeast Asia and to show them and put a focus onto public goods, that Web3 is more than just about you know, just price action. And uh, we only have one ask. Okay, one ask, just one ask, which is that um, my teammate, one of my teammates is here. This is, uh, her name is Bowie, right? And she, this is her first DEF CON that she's ever attended. After attending the opening ceremony, she fell immediately in love with Aya Miyaguchi, right? With her, her, her speech, okay, about subtraction philosophy. And I think, okay, that uh, I know it's only eight months, I, I know it's eight months away, but I think it would really mean a lot okay, if we could, if the Ethereum Foundation is here and can show us how we can invite her and confirm her as a speaker on our main stage. All right, that would make Bowie really happy. Thank you very much, everyone. See you in Malaysia next year. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, Spaghetti was born last year uh, and we had the first uh, event. Spag what is Spaghetti? Spaghetti is basically uh, an umbrella for and uh, like a, a, an accelerator for the Italian communities in general. And uh, we, will, we started that last year in Milan, but we are planning to do each event in a, a different uh, um, city in Italy to include uh, all of the Italian communities. And uh, so it is an event, but it is also an educational network. 
Uh, these are some pictures of last year. We had uh, 400 parti participants, so it was not super big. Uh, and uh, it was uh, both builders uh, and non. Uh, and uh, it was uh, um, good because <laughs> we started actually two new communities in Milan that probably will organize also it Milan. Uh, but uh, for us, uh, is uh, something bigger. So something that we just released is a new website, so also uh, thanks to Marco and Simone. It's a sort of interactive map where you can choose and find your own regional communities and also by doing a pull request on a GitHub you can merge new communities if you want. And yeah, what's next? We will have a midterm event in January in Rome, a one-day uh, educational thing for university students of computer science, economics, political sciences, etc., run by the uh, Spaghetti community. Spaghetti number two will be very likely in, um, happening in southern Italy. There's a few candidates that we will uh, spoil in a few weeks. May 23, one week of events. And uh, yeah, we will also reach out to the EF to run a um, quadratic funding round for uh, local implementation of public goods using Web3. Thank you very much. Complimenti, ragazzi. Hi, everyone. My name is Queen. So I'm present for Eat Vietnam. So I'm, even though I'm here alone, but I present for the whole community. So maybe we are the youngest community. Uh, this is the first time we do Eat Vietnam, but who are we? We have 100 million population. We top three, like, you know, market for crypto user, about 8 to 10 million crypto users in Vietnam. We have the very young DEP committee, who are, you know, like, even the young DEP, like Vu, he born in 2001, also, like, study English by himself, live in the rural area, because he wants to study ZKP, and now he also, like, working for EF. And another dev uh, guy also like he also like working for AI also boy in like 2003 and now also like building the AI machine learning applies DKP and also mentored by Barry Whitehead. Also we have many top dev also from great projects like RC Infinity or Kyber Network or Cypher and we all hunger you know to build the great projects. So that's why we want to do Eat Vietnam, and this is the first time that we built. And also for Eat Vietnam, we're gonna do, you know, like building in the um, independent palace, which is one of the most like historical building for all the government. Also have the you know meetings with the important like diplomatic and other government. And we're going to do it in November from 25 to 27, this year, the first time. And we have the hackathon. We right now have about like 70 team joints registered for the hackathon already. We also have the demo day. We also like, you know, do a lot of prevent workshop, more than 40 workshop focus on layer two and depth committee. Hope to see all of you guys there. And also we going to do it like next year uh, for the Eat Vietnam and you know what like you know right now we also the strong candidate for DEPCON next year and we hope that all of you guys will vote for DEPCON Vietnam next year thank you Ooh, thank you so much yeah here we go yeah so the story of if Warsaw begins almost exactly one year ago in Lisbon out of all the places uh, we went to Eve Lisbon uh, with this uh, great group of people uh, mostly web free engineers, and um, we were surprised about uh, how many engineers we, Polish engineers, we met in uh, Lisbon. Turns out that uh, there is a huge community of uh, web free builders in Poland, but we didn't have a chance to meet them, so we decided to build a community uh, for the web free builders in, uh, in Warsaw. Uh, the community was really fragmented. And uh, I think Warsaw really deserves a place on the global map, on the global web free map. So that's why we're doing uh, if Warsaw. And uh, Marcin will tell you more. Yeah, hey everyone. My name is Marcin. And yeah, we are after the first edition of if Warsaw, which happened this September. Some of you have been over there. I heard a couple of good uh, feedback, even during DEFCON, which is extremely rewarding. You can see like our team is super engaged in the web free community, even over here in Bogota, which is like 14 hours away flight from, from Poland. We get over here like with big team. 
huge shout out to Shannon and the whole Eve Denver team and Eve Lisbon team for huge help. Like their support was extremely valuable for us. But okay, we don't stop over here. So what's going to happen next? We are going to have like in real life monthly meetups every month. A meetup, mostly like with a dedicated topic. Let's call it zk sync, zk rollups, DAOs, and so on. Workshops for students, but not only. Like mainly technical ones. You know, like Polish developers are top notch. And uh, yeah, like next year, 2023, we are also going to have our main event, which is if Warsaw or maybe even Warsaw Blockchain Week this time. We have a huge interest, so might extend it even more. It's going to be second or the third uh, week of September 2023. And yeah, as I said, like monthly meetups, ID student workshops, online. Uh, oh yeah, and on top of that, we are going to have like an online hackathon and one day summit in spring 2023 to warm up the community a little bit more. So if you're interested, you can scan the QR code over here. There is a form to sign up for uh, news about the next edition. And you can follow us on Twitter at if Warsaw. Um, yeah, thank you and hope to see you in Warsaw. Like, Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. That was our Ethereum event showcase. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs>